Hello everyone and welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 custom workflow development course and this is module 7 where I will show you some of the bonus information and bonus tips when you are working with workflows in Dynamics 365 so in this module in lecture number 1 we will first see the best practices when you are dealing with workflows and custom workflow activities in Dynamics 365 then in the next lecture we will see the similarities and differences between workflow and plugin and in last lecture we will see how you can decide or how you can choose whether to write a workflow or plugin what are the key differentiating factors because it becomes very much important for a developer or a technical person identify in which scenario whether you will choose for a custom workflow or a plugin we will see those situations in our last lecture so on that note i will wind up this overview lecture and i hope to see you all in the next lecture till then bye bye and take care